we are exploring. Today I'm going to show you where the Arkansas women's prison was near Macon, Arkansas. The prison does no longer exist and this is just a random driveway that looked pretty cool, so overgrown and abandoned. We are here a little north of Jacksonville, Arkansas, near Macon, Arkansas. The area where the women's prison was has been converted into a residential neighborhood with quite a bunch of vacancies, if I would call it that. And here you see a few street name signs. All the streets in this 180 acre area that had been subdivided after the prison was closed down bear women's first names and these names are the names of former inmates of the Arkansas women's prison which is also known as the Arkansas State Farm for Women or the Women's State Prison or just the pea farm because this was a prison farm and inmates were involved in the work growing their own food. The pea farm was built in 1919 and closed in 1936. Over the years more than 240 women were housed here with an average of 33 inmates at any time. Women were sent to the women's state prison for theft, prostitution, habitual intoxication and even murder or something as simple as running a disorderly house. Those were the days, my friend. Inmates were involved in raising poultry, gardening, growing fruit and vegetables and helped in the overall operation of the farm. In addition to that, they also attended educational classes and courses for sewing, cooking and nursing in order to educate and reform them and to prepare the women for a release to gainful employment. At the end of this video, I am going to show you a photo so you get an idea how the penal farm looked like in its day. Here are some photos mixed in of how the neighborhood looks like. There are nice homes in this area, but I like abandoned places and that is why I put my focus a little bit on the abandoned things around here. In 1936 the facility was closed, buildings were torn down and the 185 acres of land were subdivided. Today the only reminder of the women's prison are the street names here in this area. All streets are named after former inmates of the Arkansas State Farm for Women. Overall, I think it's a neat idea to have prison farms where inmates learn skills and keep in touch with life, getting up in the morning and doing a good day's work. Blanche Street that is a pretty name and not so much common anymore these days. We're coming close to the end of this video. Next up is a photo that was published in the Daring Detective magazine in September 1935 showing the prison farm and this is a drawing by Grace R. Norton made after the photo. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it.